being in your early 20s can be really frustrating you know especially for you know fresh graduates um trying to like figure out the next move in life and and I, it's not about the early 20s alone the middle you know it's just that early and middle adult to, to, to talk about that adolescent and the early adult to middle adult to you know i think i, I want to f- focus on that age range you know because um being a person a man an independent person trying to sail my way find my way through through this rough you know, through the struggle that i live day to day I can say that it is really frustrating when you are stuck. You know that indecision. You know you you, are, you battle with your your fears. Normal, normal. No one is constant. You battle with your okay. What's your next move? That's the question. Especially the fact that you are now a graduate. What's your next move? You know. Though I'm thinking about NYC, thinking about a lot of stuff, and my craft normally like I want is not changing, but. I just need to put this out for a lot of people because speaking with a few friends in these past couple of days, I feel like we all can relate. Like, we all can relate. Like, we share that similar um, experience, that that fear, that um, being stuck, indecision, and that pressure from home and from the self. Like, um, being in the 20s is, is hard as hell. Like, you have so much. It's, it's not that... Um, other people outside this 20s age range don't have pressures. No, I don't say that, but I'm talking about my, my, my own, um, my own story. This is my own story. So I'm talking in my own experience, in my whole lifestyle, the way I feel at this present moment. And to be honest, it's crazy. It's not about, it's not a midlife crisis kind of thing. Well, I know that some have that, but it's, it's more like, you know what you want to do, but there are certain things that this is not to complain. There are certain things that you know hold you back. You know, for some money, for some maybe their family don't give them that freedom. That's not me. But for some, for some maybe um, they lack opportunity for certain things. They lack connection. You know, um, you want to make money, but you want to do something else. So your attention is. Is mostly on money. You spend more than twelve hours of your day on your business, on your craft, uh, on your business. Sorry, but you don't really have much time for your craft. Maybe you want to sing. Maybe you want to rap. Maybe you want to write books. Maybe you want to make films. You don't really have that time, spare time. So it's your your attention is always about money. So it's it's crazy. That's why I send this one out to every every one in their twenties, from the early to the late twenties. That feel stuck. That feel like oh my life is over. Like to be honest, your life is not totally over. Like we're at, we're not at the beginning, but still we're at the beginning. Yeah, you know. Let's be honest. When you when you hit thirty, that's another another journey. That's another um another pressure. That's another beginning. So, but for being in the twenties right now, whether it's the middle, early, late, um, it's crazy. On personally for me is. It's a lot of pressures. It's a lot of indecisions. You know, you might decide something today, tomorrow. Some like pff, what you decided on, it could just switch. Like it's it's like that fast. Like the days are running so quick, so fast. Like you feel like everything that you're doing, you're not doing enough. You feel like you are just wasting your time, even though you are really doing stuff. And for for a lot of people that are not actually doing anything, like you wake up, you sleep. All you do is eat. All you do is stay in the bed, press your phone. Like I, I feel you like that pressure, that depression. A lot of people are like depressed because of this. Like they have that anxiety issue. They have that fear of the future. They feel like, oh my god, I'm going to fail. Oh my god, like my life is about to be. I never really planned to make this podcast long or whatever, but like, and I'm not here to like talk about the problems or complain or talk. No, no, no. I'm here to like share that um experience what other people are going through, and I can say, being in my early twenties, grinding independent is is a crazy stuff. But there's nothing we have to do. We have to keep grinding. We can't see. We have to grind. You might not be getting that paycheck from home again, or I mean allowance from home again. But still, you have to grind. You can't sit there like it's okay. You can't 
you know get out grind be in like you're independent right now pick up your responsibilities and take it out man because nobody's going to feed you where you're broke nobody's going to build a house for you where you're homeless so you need to figure out your life it might take you a long time before you figure it out at least you're working work on something you're still in school you're a fresh graduate you have graduated one too many years ago you know grind do something work on your business work on your craft on yourself look for a job there's nothing wrong with a nine-to-five job that's if you're cool with it but make sure your mental health is you know that work-life balance make sure you balance it well and do something righteous with your life you're pushing 30 you're 30 already pushing 40 you know calm yourself ease your mind don't rush it's a journey it's a lifetime journey take it slow take steps every day as it comes don't don't sweat yourself don't beat yourself down don't tear yourself no 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 build yourself up whatever you're doing your grind beauty from the bottom to the top you might be pushing 30 you might be pushing um you might just be in your early 20s and you feel like okay my life is there's pressures out there the pressures out there from the self from the environment from society from you just trying to build something trying to get something trying to make um a career out of nothing so whatever it is that you're going through figure it like i hope that you're able to figure it out so i go by name on my devil worldwide tell infinity if you know what i mean i got a story to tell peace and love